It was about 1975 here in Vancouver. There was a letter sent out to a lot of schools in the Lower Mainland that uh, was inviting an 11, 12-year-old to come to a cattle call. And long story short, I fit the description. Back round. Action. Six callbacks later, it was between me and another young boy named uh, Michael J. Fox. And he got the part, and uh, they kept calling me back for other auditions, so I just kept at it because it was kind of a fun thing to do. And once I started, uh, I just stayed with it. Just think for a moment what you're getting in the bed with here. I used to love watching uh, Chips, liked the motorcycle cops, wanted to be one of those for a while, just rode a bike instead. Being a real cop's too dangerous. Detective Mitchell. Lieutenant. Too bad you opted for early retirement. Oakland misses you. I wish I could say the feeling was mutual. The writing is uh, it's nicely in place to uh, evoke feelings. I don't know, I, I, I found uh, that I, I could feel, feel the man's pain. How'd you get in here? You must be the only cop in America who can't break into a car. Mitch was originally involved with, with receiving the cold case and kind of having to deal with it and going through some of his own personal issues. What happened to you? He's a little on the lost side. He's lost his, uh, his zest. You have to stop. I can't. You don't have anything, Grace. Then we've got to find the link. Grace is, is requesting his help. I'm sticking my neck out for you here. You getting a taste of real police work, Mitch? And uh, she's asking me to, you know, she's trying to light a fire under my ass, really. You know what, once you find out who knows what, it starts getting kind of scary. So, you know, it's, it can leave you biting your fingernails a little bit. It feels kind of dark, dark and sexy and gritty, all those good things. It feels like a movie.